Hello everyone, welcome back to my second tutorial on SF Play. In our last tutorial we learned how to change the volume, the Easy DAC, basics of SF Play, as well as the messages we send it to make it do things. Notice in this one I also added pause and resume to it. So in this tutorial we're going to look at how to change the speed of the song, the tempo. Do that through this signal here. Notice it says signal float speed input. So how we're going to change the speed is uh, we're going to use another slider. So here I'll just copy and paste another one of these. Slide it up here. And uh, also add another floating point. So when we connect that together, Whoa. So you notice how it goes normal speed at 1. So what we're going to do is change this slider so um, it goes a little bit past 1 and a little bit below 1. So we can slow it down a little bit and also speed it up a little bit. So how we're going to do that is... Uh, here, let me just... How we're going to do that is uh, I'm going to create another message, and this message is going to be called set min max. Set min max. Then we follow it with uh, two numbers. The first number is going to be the min number, so I'll make it 0 0.6, and. Uh, so we'll set the max number now. Let's make that um, maybe 1.4. That works. So we'll connect that up. Go. Oh, it's still fast. What we have to do is click it. And now it will be, see, 1.4 up, 0 0.6 down. Well, we lost the music, but that's okay. So, uh, what we do, since you know, when we open the program, we don't want to have to, we don't always ha want to have to click this, is we can make an object called load bang. Load bang. And what load bang does is it outputs a triggered. It triggers an output automatically when you open the program. So it'll automatically trigger a bang through this, setting the slider to the right range we want. Okay, so now we have our slider. It's looking good. Uh, we can now move over here. What I'm going to create next is something called a tab. So tab right here, you'll find it. And it says one, two, three. But what I'm going to get these to do is these are going to be buttons that are going to make it open, play, stop, pause, resume, etc. So how we change it from 1, 2, 3 to that is we right click, Inspector. Uh, we'll go down the Inspector. And right here, Tab Items, we'll edit. Instead of 1, 2, 3, let's go Open. Uh, play, stop, pause, and resume. Okay. And as you can see right there, open, pause, stop, resume. Okay. So what next? Can you connect it here? No, you cannot. What you have to do first is, well, here, let's, I'll show you how this works, the tab works. So I'll create a number box here. When I click open at zero, play is one, stop is two, pause is three, resume is four. So it starts at zero. There's five items, but it only goes up to four. Okay. So how we get that to select zero, one, two, three, four to uh, connect it to this is something called actually select. So, but for short, 
for short, we'll just go cell for select. Uh, select 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And notice how now all of these outputs are created. So we connect that. This will be the 0. That will be the 1. This will be the 2. Pause will be 3. And raise zoom is 4. Notice there's still one more, but that's okay. That's only if something else goes in that's not 0 to 4. Then it'll output something here. But we're only going to 0 to 4. So we're good. So let's uh, try this out now and see see if it works. Oh, one, one other thing I'm going to create actually is something called a live meter. There it is. So a live meter will actually be able to see the sound and we'll connect it from here to here. Now if we zoom out a bit we can see everything. And uh, here, let's click open. Select the file out of my music. Sure, let's do that one. Now play. Okay. We got action, but it's going pretty fast, eh? So we'll slow it down a little bit. There we go. We can turn it up. Yeah. Pause it. Resume. Yeah. So that's my tutorial on how to beef up your SF play a little bit.